I had to do a lot of soul searching before I took it on because I knew it was such a big deal and um and I knew it was gonna be challenging. And um to me I liked the challenge and um and I felt like with the people that were involved with um with Mick Jagger, with Tate Taylor, with Brian Grazer, um, with AJ, um, <laughs> with Robert, the guy who's, who did the, the wigs, um, that we had a good chance of doing something special. Brian Grazer has made movie after movie, hit after hit. And so um, you, uh, you know that he's going to be um, involved with quality. And... Just Mick Jagger, you know, stepping into the film industry and having something passionate that he wants to be behind and get involved in, him knowing James Brown, him having stories about him, him being a connoisseur of music and, and a, an expert in performance and crowd um, exchange, exchange with an audience. Um, you know that he's gonna bring something to the table as well. I was like, we doing five hour rehearsals? And they were like, well, we do eight hour rehearsals a lot of times and then we built up to that. And so it was, it was intense. It was an intense, tense, um, you know, project to do. Going from, I can only do the mashed potatoes in the slick shoes to like, to the point where you could do it in tennis shoes because your legs got so strong. Um, you know, you could do it in anything. But it was a lot, definitely a lot. You know, she reminded me of some aunts I have. So the fact that she was playing, uh, honey, like I was, it like, it, it made it easy. It was just great to have it. Plus, he knew James Brown in real life. And his energy and excitement about the film uh, was contagious.